So for the next step, we're going to install the electronics. To install the electronics, you have to first make sure that everything is going to fit everywhere. So the back plate that needs some holes, I had to do some holes on the bottom bit here, like two holes here, two holes there. And then I did also two holes here where the DIN rail has to be installed. So small DIN rails on the bottom here and a larger DIN rail on the middle portion of this uh, back plate. Uh, that's the only thing that I had to do in order to be able to fix this, you know, double-sided tape you have to use on these portions. And I just made my own way of routing the cables. But this is the finished product and this is working as it is now. So I'm going to walk through with you guys every cable that you have to install. And there are a lot, <laughs> let me be honest about that. There's a lot of cables that you have to route. So let's get to it. So as you guys can see, I'm using five port Wagos. So I use all of them here. For the earth, I'm using one for the black wire and the red wire with that's all about it. So all these three cables are also coming out of the, the port that the AC is coming in. So the power is coming from here. And then I just divide it into these three. So from here, from these three, I went back to my power supply, just like these three here on the right side, the back ones. So the earth, the N and that life is being connected through there. That's it. So that's the first loop that you have to do. And from here, you have to route one cable, which is the plus V and a minus V all the way to the other side. So from this side, you have to route plus V and a minus V all the way to this side. And as you can see, I'm using also another Wago that is like five port Wagos here and another one on the right side. But those are the 48 volts. So this is a 24 volts one and this is a 48 volts one. So two of those cables are coming in as a black wire and a red wire, which is the V plus and a V minus. That's those two. All these cables are actually being used to power your motherboard and everything that's on there. Like everything that is on here is going to be powered from here. So now the 48 volt side also needs cable from here, which is this side here. So from the AC side, you take your cable, it has to go to your power supply on the 48 volt, which is here. So the same manner. So the earth, N and L uh, cables needs to be on your power supply, the 48 volt this time. And then from here, the plus V and the minus V has to go to your 48 volt where it goes here. here so one of each is coming in here. I have used the black, blue wire and the red wire this time. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders, and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. So let's first talk about the 48 volt that you have to give to the 5160 drivers here. So you will always need two wires that's going to each one of these four drivers. So one wire from here, which is a blue, and one wire from there, which is a red. And I've used this orientation, so the V plus is red and the V minus is blue in, on my side. So let me get closer to that. But every time it's the same orientation. So the first one here is the red and then blue and then red, blue and so on. Red, blue and red, blue. That's the first. These are the uh, power cables that you have to route into your drivers. And then you have to get from your X and Y motors all the cables to here as well. So I use this orientation, which is blue, red, green, and black. Always the same. That's what I used. And that's how my uh, config file is also routed to. So it's not a big issue if you use another combination, but you have to just change it in your configuration. But if you follow my guide, just like that I have made it, then you can use my configuration for the motors as well. And now we can talk about the 24 volts that is coming from this side here. So the 24 volts power supply is connected through here. And from here, I'm going to my motherboard and make sure you use this sticker so you know what is where because the orientation changes every time. So this is minus plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So make sure you use that sticker so that you don't do something wrong. I'll just try to zoom into that. 
as you can see it's different orientation every time and some of the times it's the same but it's better to use the stickers so when you get here you just connect those but you don't have enough of these wego uh, connections so you will have to um, i have uh, bridged these two here on the on the end so the driver power and the driver power uh, high and the low i bridge together so as you can see there is like a loop here and that's how i could fix everything together otherwise it, it's just not enough um, but on the guide it says you can you can just use two wires and then bridge everything together i will show on the screen right now so you will be able to see what's going on. Now, as you can see, it's uh, on the screen. It says how you are supposed to use these connections here. But I just bridged the last two here together. That's all I have done because I've routed everything from these way goes here and it worked well. That's about it. And then I can talk about five volts power supply that I also use separately. Although you can, if you're using the Supply 8 Pro, you can actually use this port here with the provided adapter to route from here to your Pi, and that will also give it like five volts a continuum power to it, which I didn't want to because I might use that port for something else later. So that's why I just installed a, a spare power supply that I had for the Pi, and it's also working really well, as you can see here. This is also uh, the getting power from the Wego here, which is the AC. That's coming in it's going right from here to this here and these two are the plus and minus that is going through a usb cable to this cable here which is providing the power to my raspberry pi 4b so next i'm going to talk about the ssr and the ssr needs to be yeah, well you put it wherever you like but i put it on the left side here in the bottom and what you need to do is you see here bet out that needs to be connected like the minus and the plus needs to be connected but well, I routed it this way it comes here and it's on the minus four and a uh, plus three which is on the bottom side one two three four uh, so it's the minus four and a plus three these two needs to be connected to this port and all the rest is going to the 24 volts power supply so here on the SSR side you also need to connect these top one and two and also make sure you don't forget to use the ground on the middle points here on the bottom and here so you just find the place on the frame you can use i used one is here we need here i used one of the grounds on this side and the other one is on the frame and the front make sure you use the grounds this one goes to your bed the number one and number two goes to your ac l so the line so it goes to the red one and from your bed the negative connector goes to your ac as well to the neutral from the bed you go to the neutral and from this one you go to your power supplies l so the life which is also known as a red cable that's about it and make sure you connect these like correctly because this is important it this goes to life 220 volts if you're in europe if you don't understand this don't fiddle around with it you might you know burn your house down basics are you just connect these just the way i just explained it to you and it works for me so here on top of the mcu i used all the z end stop y end stop and the x end stop or it's just you know you just choose which, whichever you like so but these are the end stops and needs to be routed also from the front of the printer to the back here and these fan ports i'm using the hot end fan and the auxiliary fan and also the exhaust fan is connected through there so these three here that you can see uh, all of them are 24 volts ones so you can just change with the pins here uh, which ones you like and you just put it on the right pin orientation where, and that is all you have to do and let me talk to you guys about this orientation as well because on the left side you're putting the fan uh, the connectors uh, towards that side so it's red black so positive negative and here on the other side the opposite side here on the right it's black red so it's negative positive so make sure you don't switch the wires or you will burn something out well probably this mosfet will burn them but try not to burn them because you only have one spare here on the bottom i use the heater of the goliath which is coming here 24 volts you just connect it through these two so negative and the positive it goes through that here comes a bit to mister so i just uh, extended the cable and here it comes so you only use the middle one and the right one the left one is empty you don't use that one 
Uh, this driver I'm using is for the extruder motor. So it's the Hexadort is connected to this uh, driver. And this one is the Z axis. So this one is a Z axis and this is the Hexadort extruder that is connected. And that's about it for the drivers as well. This one is also the thermistor for your hot end. So Goliath is using this PT1000 here. It's coming through here and that's about it. And next to that here is for your uh, CPAP. So you only need one cable to connect to your CPAP that goes onto your board. I will put a picture on the screen now so you can see which cable you need to use. And for the rest of that, there is just, you know, the connection of the CPAP is fairly obvious if you follow the guide as well. So here you can see the CPAP that is installed through this side and the hose of the CPAP is going inside of the printer. And I'm also using here a camera cable that comes to my Pi. Other than that, there is also another cable that I'm using for Beacon. That's also a USB cable that also is being routed through this port here all the way to the front. And also another cable here that is for the screen that goes all the way to the front. It is ribbon cable that is being used. But for the camera, I'm not using the ribbon cable that is coming here. I'm just using the USB A cable that is connected through there, uh, which is all working all just fine. So apart from that, I think I told you guys about everything that is very important. You can see the orientation that I've been used as everything laid out here. Um, it's a fairly non-complex setup, so you should be able to do something like similar to this and it should be completely working. So without forgetting guys, also this 24 volts rail and the 48 volts rail needs to be connected on the neutral, so the black wires here I'm using blue and black, so that's all black actually. So that one, the, the non-life, but the neutral one needs to be connected with one wire so that there is a connection between those two. So that is also for needed for the 5160 drivers, otherwise it's giving you an error. So that you have to make sure that it, that connection is also there, otherwise you will have a problem. Other than this, I hope it was easy to follow. I know I, I'm not wiring everything on camera, I know, but it was a, a fairly long thing to do. So the video would have been a very long video if I had done that. So I wanted to keep this video a little shorter than usual. So if there is any more questions about regarding this, then you can ask me on my Discord or, or you can just ask in the, the comment section. Um, but normally it should work out itself. So I need to caution you guys that if you don't understand this, don't work with this because uh, it is dangerous. You are working with a life 220 volts. So that is always a dangerous thing to do. If you don't understand, uh, just find someone who does understand and let them do it for you. And you can maybe a friend or a cousin, or you can just pay someone to do it for you. Don't risk your life for this, all right?